Welcome back, everyone, to the semi-finals of Severe MMA Masterminds. That's right, we have taken a step closer. We've whittled down the competition, including myself. And today we have Sean Denny, the King of Poland versus Quilcher de Barra. Lads, how are you feeling? Good now, can't complain. Surprised I'm after getting this far, to be very honest with you. But look, let's see how we get on. Denny? Yeah, Graham, my side. Didn't think I'd make it through the last round, but uh, sure, we'll keep we'll keep the look rolling. Well, look, you had a, you had an easy matchup with me in the first round, some may say, but we have another hotly contested matchup to come today now. So for anyone who's who is watching who hasn't watched before, maybe go back and watch the first ones first because we have it's essentially an eight man tournament. We've got ten rounds of MMA knowledge, uh, an MMA quiz or trivia if you're in the United States. We've got general knowledge. We've got uh, the L Triangle Irish MMA question. We've got a number round, so you'll need your pen and paper for that one, lads, if you if you don't have it already. Um, we have the chasing pack. We have a picture round. We have a head-to-head. -head. Um, Ten rounds, lots of different categories. Um, but what we also have, are, we have three lifelines. So you've got your double points. You have a hint from the host, and you can phone a friend. So you can use those at any time. You can double them up or triple them up even. Um, if you want to use them all in one round, that's no problem whatsoever. Uh, we do have a 30-second time clock, which is at my at the, the host's discretion that I'll implement. Um, but you do have your lifelines available to you. The niche category is the final round. So what that means is the two lads have already chosen theirs. Sean Denny, if anyone knows Mr. Denny, to no surprise, is KSW and Quilch de Barra his beloved Burnley. So um, it'll be interesting to see if the lads have learned anything from the previous rounds. Does does Sean Denny perhaps have a, a, a diehard rabid Burnley fan or uh, maybe maybe Quilch de Barra has somehow gotten the uh, the generals of, of KSW's numbers. But um, we shall find out. But let's, you know, before before we get underway, Quilch, you, in the first round, you called out Mr. Denny here. You, you wanted this matchup. Why did you call Denny out? Ah, uh, because I liked Denny and I thought it'd be a bit of fun, to be honest. Uh, now he's wearing a shell's top, so now I'm happy I called him out. So here we go. Denny, obviously we had a, a very closely contested uh, first round. Have you gained confidence now that you've, you've come through a round of trivia? Are you? Do you feel more prepared coming into this one? I feel sneakier. Sneakier. I just need to be as lucky as sneaky, really, and then I should be okay. Quilcha, how are your, your nerves right now? Jeez. No nerves, pure confidence. Ready to get more than zero, and that's a win for me. But we're gonna take it home. Gonna have to avenge your loss, Andy. You know we can't right. have him going all the way to the final, beating our triangle hosts. That's it, right? Well, I, I feel like this is you know uh, maybe a nicer one. We've got another, we have another semi final between Ian O'Neill and Sean Sheen. I don't think the niceties are going to be you know uh deployed for that one so perhaps this will be a more tame affair but but let's look let's get straight into it um and let's find it so let's get underway denny versus quilcha mma mastermind like the video subscribe to, this, to the channel share it with a friend tell a mate and let's get underway the first round is going to be a general ufc knowledge round um oh sorry to, just before we get going the more tenured oh i actually don't know what the answer to this is who who was with Severe first between Quilcher or Mr. Denny? Do you know? Good question. No um, idea. Oh wow. No idea. Oh wow. We're gonna do you know what? We've we've someone in the audience here watching here, and we've got Ian O'Neill. I'm gonna refer to Ian O'Neill. His decision is final. Who is the more tenured Severe MMA staff member? I want to believe it's Sean Denny, so that's what we're going to go with. I think Sean has been writing those KSW. Like, I mean, Quilcher came in and joined us a, a couple of years back. I think Sean Denny was writing a couple of previews before that on the website, so I'm going to go based off of that. Thank you, Adjudicator so, Neil. Much much appreciated. Um, Mr. Denny, you get the choice as the more tenured staff member. Do you want to go first or second? Do you want the, the, the A questions or the B questions? I'll go for the A questions. I had B right. last time. Switching it up. Okay, let's get underway. The first question for Mr. Sean Denny is, what was the first five-round non-title fight in UFC history? Oh, God. <laughs> We're in the semis. <laughs> um, 
I'm going to need to use the hint already. The, the host hint. The host hint. Okay. The host hint. Uh, let's, let's come up with a clue for this one. Um, so I'll give you the event. I think that's a fair way to do it. Um, and we are going to, if I can find it here now, because Graham, Graham was the question master for this one. So let me just find this now. Sorry, Sean was the question master for this one. Um, apologies here, lads. Give me one moment as I find this. The event was UFC 138. It took place in 2000, 2011. Oh, wasn't even a fight night. Technically, two, technically two hints there. That's quite controversial. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's going to matter. Uh, five round non title fight. Um, somebody must have missed weight. Was it? It wasn't Nick Diaz, Anderson Silva, was it? Well, you, you can't just What's ask me that. So, uh, final answer. <laughs> okay, so Denny's gone final answer Nick Diaz versus Anderson Silva. Is that what you said? Uh, it is. Confidence not very high. The answer is incorrect, which means Quilch de Barra has an opportunity to steal the round here. I don't think I even watched MMA back in 2011. Well, yeah, 12 years ago. No, that's. I, I, a, I'm gone with I this one. Mr. Denny, UFC 138, 2011. UFC 138. What happened to UFC 138? Guys, not even going to waste the time. I'd say Ian's going to lose the mind. He probably knows it. Go on, I'll pass it. It's a pass. Okay. We've got a pass on the first one. The answer was Chris Lieben versus Mark Munoz. Does that does that ring any bells, Denny? Uh, couldn't have rang any less bells. Okay. <laughs> well, look, it's uh, it's nil all. It's nil all. We'll, we'll keep score as we go along. And we move on to Quilch's question for the first round. What was the main event of UFC 93 in Dublin? Ah, oh, this is cruel. Ah, oh, this is cruel. Um, Jesus Christ. I should know this, lads. Oh, God, I think Graham's done me here. Was. You got picking one is one thing, picking 15, a second. I can't. 15 seconds on the clock now. Um, again, you must say final answer after you give your answer. Ah, uh, shit. I'm drawing a five point. final answer. Pass. Four, a pass, a final answer. Pass. Wow. Quilcha passes to Denny. Not even an option of using a lifeline there that he went for. Mr. Denny, 15 seconds on the clock to steal. Uh, final answer. One of them was Rich Franklin. I'm going to need the, was the other one. Was the other one Henderson? Final answer. Can you clarify full names for both, please? Uh, Rich Franklin and Dan Henderson. Uh, that's not it. Final answer. Final answer. That is correct. We don't have a we don't have a, a soundboard, unfortunately, today. Sean Sheen's not here. That is the correct answer. Sean Denny steals on Quilch's turn to go 1-0 up the first point of the match. We move on to the L Triangle, round two, the L Triangle Irish MMA question. A great podcast comes out every second Wednesday, mostly. And this one's for Mr. Denny. In a 10-month stretch, which Irish MMA fighter fought Reese McKee, Will Flurry, and Modestus Bukowskis? Bukowskis. I double my points. You can indeed. Is that your final answer for double? Yep, final answer for double. Okay. Final answer, Johnny Jitsu, John Redmond. Ding, ding, ding. That is the correct answer. So Denny has used his double points. He extends his lead to three. It was 1-0. It's now 3-0 after using the double. And that is the correct answer. John Redmond, Johnny Jitsu, a legendary fighter in Irish MMA. One of my best friends. And now we <laughs> move on to Mr. Quilch de Barra. The host, the co-host, one of the hosts oh, of, of the L Triangle. This is his round, technically. 
which Irish MMA fighter had his last fight in 2018 against Wagner Prado? Wagner Prado. Which Irish MMA 2018 against Wagner Prado? Oh, I feel like it's one of the heavier lads. Christ. I'm on a bad, bad spell here, lads. Um, 2018, so... You know what? I'm going to go with... I think could be wrong, but I'm going to go with Chris Fields' final answer. That is the correct answer. Chris, Should have done the that. housewife's choice, formerly the killing, controversial, Fields. KS, KSW 44 in Gdansk. Uh, and Denny... Uh, I, was, whip- I, was, I was there for that. <laughs> Denny whipping out the KSW knowledge, which will co- potentially come in handy later on when we get to the niche round. So just to clarify, Quilch still has all lifelines available. Denny has used his his double points and his hint. And now we move on to the third round of this. You're, lads, you're going to need to get your pen and paper out now. Um, this round will run a little bit differently in that there won't be an A side or a B side. Both lads are going to receive a there's uh, receive a question. They're both going to write down their answer and they're going to show it. Uh, and whoever gets closest wins. Now, if you get exactly the correct answer, you'll get two points. And that's aside from any doubling or, or anything like that. This, this round, you get the exact number correct you'll get a point. We move on to the number round. So, Chris, Christian Leroy, De- du- <laughs> let's start that again. Christian Leroy Duncan's career fights, so the number of career fights, plus Chris Duncan's career fights, plus Bruce Leroy, Alex Caceres' career fights. As you can see. I have this a question. Time. Does career fights, pro fights? Or, or do we're we have we're to- going with pro professional fights, just to clarify there. Professional fights. Could take as, as much time as you want here. So once you're just give me a thumbs up once you're ready to go. Denny has has completed his math. Quilch is still writing. A reminder or, or, or rather not, not a reminder, but something I I missed at the start. Um, if we can, you know, outside of this round, we want to keep our hands up. This is this is okay, perfectly fine. No typing. We want to make sure no cheating. Quilchi, you're ready, are you? Yes, I am ready, indeed. Okay, so I'm just going to shift the screen so that it shows both of you guys so that the viewers can see this a little bit more clearly. And Denny, you're going to show yours first, and then Quilchi, you're going to show yours afterwards. So Sean Denny has written down 58. Quilcher, can you show yours, please? 53. Can you can you show that? Okay, you've said 53 anyway. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can okay. show you the maths if you want. So I don't know if it's right, though. <laughs> the correct answer was 57, which means Sean Denny oh. won away. Won away. Incredibly close to getting a double. But Denny moves on to four points. He extends his lead to it's a four one lead currently over Quilcha. Now, and many will recall the the infamous lead that Theo had over Sean Sheehan, that is, uh, and he pulled it back. So that it, it is by no means over. We are going to another numbers round right now. Uh, again, get your pen and paper at the ready. I will bring up the screen, and the next question is: Stepe Miocic's career wins again, professional. Minus Stipe Miocic, Stipe Miocic's career losses. So his pro wins minus his pro losses. Now this, a bit of an easier question here, because really this is just, if you know his record, you have the answer. And again, if you get that exact... It's easy if you knew his record. It's, it's <laughs> double. I'm even going to write down, I'll use my head for this one. Also, if Sean Denny keeps his head slightly to the to the left, I think it is there. It looks like his headphones are bleeding into my screen, which is pretty cool. <laughs> 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 um, thumbs up, lads. Are you ready to go? Okay, so yeah. this time, Quilchy, you're going to show. Oh, sorry, who showed theirs first last year? Denny showed his. First I last I time. did last time. Quilchy, you're right, going to show yeah, yours first this time. Grant, I just dropped down. Twenty four. Oh, with 24. I went with 20. 
Stipe Miocic's record is 20 and 4, which means the answer was 16. So again, Denny gets the win in this in this uh, question for this round, but he doesn't get the double point. So he he moves to a 5-1 lead, really stamping his authority here. Quilcher with some ground to make up as we move on to the chasing pack. I mean, that was an accidental transition. Talk about ground needing to be made up. These guys need to chase the UFC. The chasing pack, what a beautiful podcast it is. And we move on to Mr. Denny. Who is the reigning one championship heavyweight champion? You only have your phone a friend left for your hints. Yeah, uh, and I'm going to need to use it. Can I, could I get uh, Ian O'Neill on the screen, please? Yeah, you're deciding to use, to use Ian. That's your final answer for Ian O'Neill, That's is it? That's my final answer. I, I need Mr. O'Neill's help again, once again. Now there was a there was a possibility just now that if Ian decided no, I mean that that would be the equivalent of of not picking up the phone, right? So Ian has picked up the call. Um. Uh, first name I want to say it's Andre. That's Malikin, Ma- Macalin, uh, Macalikin. What's his name? I I'm I'm I I'm not good with pronunciations, but it's. Uh, he beat that Buller guy in the heavyweight division. Uh, he's also, he beat the Ritter. He's fighting the Ritter. Yeah, he's fighting the Ritter as well. Ten, ten seconds left before Ian is going to have oh. to vacate the screen. Uh, uh, Macalin is, uh, Macalin is, the, is the last name. Uh, uh, Andre or... Andre? Five. I don't know four, his first three, name, though. Three, I don't know his first two. name. We're going to need yeah. Ian to leave the screen now. One. Oh. Final answer, Andre Macalin. Final answer. Okay, so... Uh, you you don't get the answer. You don't get the correct answer. Um, sorry, w- Sean went first. Sorry, Th- it's it's wrong. It's wrong. Uh, it now goes to, a chance. It now goes to Quilcher. <laughs> it's wrong. Uh, so I had thought of uh, was it is it Arjun Fuller? But I'm going to go with uh, and is since they heard the Macalin or Vacalin or Macalin. It's a uh, first name Anthony Macalin. Final answer. Considering it, it, that was close, no, the it's wrong. You're oh, both you're on the right. <laughs> I, I can't. I just can't give that answer to either of you, especially if I didn't give it to Denny. I can't give it to you. The correct answer was Anatoly Malikin. Ah, jeez. You were both. You were both close. Quilter was almost <laughs> slightly closer. Ian had the correct person in his mind. But it was just the. Uh, it, it was the. I knew the who it was. Name. I just couldn't remember the name. <laughs> yeah, John Boy. John Boy Hutchinson trains him out in Tiger Muay Thai. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So no change in the standings there in the scoreboard. We move on to the next one, which is for Quilcha. Who is the reigning Bellator female flyweight champion? You have all three lifelines at your disposal. I have an absolute notion. Um, Bellator flyweight. Ooh. See, first names are the killer here. I can I phone a friend. You can. Who okay. who, are you, who are you choosing to phone? And are you locking that in as a final do, do, final decision to to make the phone a friend? Yeah. Final decision to phone the friend. Um, I'm trying to think who will know this. Okay. All right. I'm gonna ring my friend Mitch. He said it'll be on. He's good with this stuff. Let's have a look. The first non-MMA media person to be called. All right. So you're going to put it up to the to the screen. We need to see the phone. That's right. Serious. Put it up to the microphone. Dream on Facebook. Oh. And he's always at the laptop. Oh, oh. Mitch. You're right. All right, keep a PG now. You're on a you're on, you're uh, you're you're on screen, so uh, I have you up t- towards the mic now. So I need your help with uh, with the question here. Oh, so the lads can. Oh, sorry, yeah, the lads can. Uh, the lads can hear you as well. So um, here's the question I need a hand with. Who is the reigning Bellator fl- female flyweight champion? Uh... I want to say Liz Carmouche. Uh, I can't remember if she lost the belt. No, she ba- she's she's not she's not a bantamweight though. 
God. No luck. Any other idea? Um, let me think. I'm on a timer here, Mitch. Ten seconds. No, I'm lost. Ten seconds. Oh, oh you're kidding me. Eight. Seven. Yeah, I'm lost. Six, all right. No worries. No worries. Five. Seven. It's all right. It's Four. all right. Okay, Quilty, you you have ten seconds to to give your final answer here. Yeah. Um. You've used your call. You do have to use my yeah. call. Go on, give me the hint there. This is bugging me. Okay, he's he's opting for a hint. Let me let me come up with a hint. So that's two lifelines used here. Um, and I still get it wrong. I'm gonna have to come up with a hint here now. Um. She fought. She fought Juliana Velasquez twice. Juliana Velasquez twice. I'm gonna have to have a ten second counter here now. Well, no, I'll give you, I'll give you fifteen because that kind For of. For some reason, it. this name stands out, and I it's probably wrong. Is her name Ale, Is it like Alejandra Lara or something? Oh God! Final answer. Go with that. It's probably even not even a real fighter. Incorrect, which means it goes to to Sean Denny to steal. Oh, I'm no thief. Um, we'll go final answer, Liz Caramouche. And that is the correct answer. And that is one of the biggest blunders I have seen oh, in the history. Christ, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I ring and apologize there? Possibly anything. You <laughs> have I to apologize to him there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll text him to apologize. You were right. Quail to the Barra somehow misread the question despite it being read to him. Um, and uh, and confused the flyweight in the band. He gave you the correct answer. Oh he my! Gave you, he gave you the correct answer. I think you you even read out the correct question. I even did. Him. He was right. Oh, lads, then, that's fucking brilliant. And then corrected oh. him. So look, uh, Sean Denny moving to six and one to six one. Um, quite the lead. Quite the lead. Fumbled. Wow! Fumbled. Big moments. I, I think that one may come back to to bite Quilcher. But we move on to the, I can't believe that. We move on to the picture round. And oh Sean, Sean Denny is up first. Who is this fighter? Jeez, do I have face blindness is the question. He looks like an average bearded man with hair, which I mostly. Um, final answer, Jared Me Meershart. That is the correct answer. Sean Denny extends to seven and one. This is a becoming a, a bit of a 10 ace borderline 10 seven round here. Quilty, you, you really need to pull it back. It's it's you up next. Who is this fighter? Jesus Christ, who is that? Is that your man Brad Tavares? You do have time. You have your your double points. It's the, uh, it's, the it's the tattoos on the uh, across the hips that has me thrown off because that would signal it, it kind of give me the impression is it Ma is he Maori? Um, oh, I do not know. Is he small? Oh, God, it's not Brad Tavares anyway. I have no idea. I'm going to go with the likes of, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a New Zealand fighter. Uh, Kai Kara France or something. He looks a bit big for Kai Kara France now, to be honest. So I'll go with Kai Kara France anyway. That is, is that your final answer? Yeah, yeah, final answer. Incorrect. Sean Denny again with the opportunity to steal. Just to be funny, I'm going to go final answer, Brad Tavares. Incorrect. The correct answer, lads. Tyson Pedro. I was never getting that. Tyson Pedro. Okay. Stumped him. We now move on to the past. You, we're, we're, we've reached the halfway point. Seven to one. The only lifeline remaining, Quilch has a double, which could come become crucial for him later on. Past UFC champions, round six. Sean Denny. Who did Anthony Pettis beat 
in his only successful UFC lightweight title defense. I didn't even know he defended it. Uh, so he beat Henderson and he lost to RDA. RDA defended against Cowboy. Who who did he fight before RDA? Final answer, Frankie Edgar. Incorrect. Quilcher, opportunity to steal. Henson Henson twice, didn't he? Um, hmm. I'm going to go Benson Henson final answer. Oh, what's going on there? The incorrect answer. The correct answer. And Ian O'Neill, I see in, in, in the uh, the background here, a bit of a smile on his face. He seems quite content with this question. Uh, the answer is Gilbert Melendez. Gilbert Melendez. Would you have gotten that, lads? Does it does it ring a bell now? It does ring a bell. Not clearly, clearly you, you wouldn't have gotten it. <laughs> Sorry. But, uh, <laughs> okay. No, it's Gilbert Melendez. Now, the next question for Quilcher. Who did Rafael Dos Anjos beat in his only successful UFC title weight defense? UFC lightweight title defense. Jeez. Who did RDA beat? Lads, I'm gone. I'm gone. Head's gone. I've lost it. Um, RDA, lightweight defense. Hold on a second. <laughs> Did he? Oh, fuck. Did he just said it? Um, Anthony Pettis. No. Oh, no, it was the defense. He lost. Ten on the clock. Ah, but... Um... Quilcher be believes that Denny has, has just said it. I'm going to have to push you um, for a final answer in five. RDB four. is only like a title defense. And um, Anthony Pettis, Benson Henderson, final answer. Well, I need you to clarify that now. Which which one was your final answer there? Oh, Benson Henderson, final answer. And it's definitely going to be Anthony Pettis. Incorrect. And <laughs> Sean Denny. You have the opportunity answer. to steal. Cowboy Cerrone. Correct. Sean Denny, maybe 15 seconds before the, this question was asked, gave the answer unknowingly, but Quilty was unable. Another costly mistake as Sean Denny moves to eight and one. We go on to the head to head. So this one, the way this one will work, you're going to go tit for tat. It'll start with Sean for the first one. It'll go to Quilty. And you're going to continue to name answers until one of you gets it wrong. There will be an opportunity for both to to uh, to have their crack at it. If if Denny goes first and he gets it wrong, Quilch will have to get it correct. We move on to the head to head. Conor McGregor's eleven unique UFC opponents. They don't have to be in any order. So Conor McGregor's eleven unique UFC opponents. So Sean Denny, you're going to go first, then Quilch. And away you go. Uh, Max Holloway. And it's Eber. I we'll, we'll just uh, just before we go, we still want the final answer. Oh. to be to be said. So Max Holloway is that final answer. Final answer, Max Holloway. Correct, Quilcher. And it's Eber, final answer. Correct. Uh, Diego Brando, final answer. Correct. Nate Diaz, final answer. Correct. Uh, Donald Cerrone, final answer. Correct. Poirier, final answer. Correct. Um, Habib Nurmagomedov, final answer. Correct. Jose Aldo, final answer. Correct. Uh, Mendez, final answer. Correct. So, <clears throat> how many is that? Sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, I think that's a fair for, for these. I have no issue with with saying what's who's already been said. So, Max Holloway, Dennis Seaver, Diego Brandao, Nate Diaz, Donald Cerrone, Dustin Poirier, Khabib, Jose Aldo, and uh, Chad Mendez. 
Grant. Uh, I'm going to need to push you for an answer. Cole, Cole Miller, final answer. That is incorrect. He was, was scheduled. Canceled. He was oh. scheduled to face Cole Miller. Diego Brandao replaced him. And if you remember from one of the previous episodes, I had that. I had that question. <laughs> so Denny, Denny wins that one and moves to nine and one. This is at some point. I think the the game might be over. Um, I think it already is. <laughs> You've you've eight to pull back. You still have a double. You can do, you, the the niches were double also. We we're gonna keep going. This one's to you first, Quilcha. Max Holloway's last ten unique opponents. Jesus Christ! Um, last ten unique opponents. So you can be any one of them in any order. You're gonna go head to head again. So you're gonna go first, then Sean barely remember any of them um I think about what alexander volkanovsky final answer final answer correct um, yeah hold on uh oh crap uh it's all volkanovsky you thought about it a million times again we're um, again just to clarify the last 10 unique opponents yeah so no matter how many times he fought Volk. You go to the next one. Calvin Catter, final answer. Correct. Bit of a shot in the dark. Um, it's probably gonna be wrong. I'm gonna go. No. Oh, did he fight Chang Chang Chance Chance, Chance and Young? Uh, no. Green Zombie, final answer. Correct. Jose Aldo, final answer. Correct. Um, did this fight? Do you know when you think fights happen and you're not sure if they did or didn't? So I'm going to go Dustin Poirier, final answer. Probably wrong. Correct. Ortega, final answer. Correct. Yaya Rodriguez, final answer. Correct. It's a great streak for right now going on. How many have we done? Sorry. That has been so you've Volkanovsky, Calvin Katar, uh, Cater, even Chan Sung Jung, Josie Aldo, Dustin Poirier, Brian Ortega, and Yair Rodriguez have been said. Oh. Um ten opponents. Ten unique opponents. I'm gonna need to push you for an answer, Sean. In um, right, Gamble, right. Conor McGregor, final answer. What was that? Conor McGregor, final answer. Incorrect. Oh. Incorrect. The the correct answers were Chan Sung Jung, Arnold Allen, Alexander Volkanovsky, Yair Rodriguez, Calvin Cater, Frankie Edgar, Dustin Poirier, Brian Ortega, Jose Aldo, and Anthony Pettis. I use my double, please. <laughs> You you cannot know at this point you you cannot <laughs> use no 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 you, you can't use your double after you no 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 you can't you can't can't do that now I'm I'm not having that one I'm not having, there was no opportunity to steal no that is a point to Quil Chidabara I know I realize this is this is this was never said in the room I mean this is you know like what type what type of judging is this. Unfortunately, you need to get Sean to do a video on this judge and Jesus Christ. Unfortunately, I I, I can't I can't uh, I can't stand over that. We move on to round eight. Eight. It's nine to two between Sean Denny and Quilch and Barry here. Round eight, future matchup. Sean Denny. Who is Piotr Jan's next opponent? That's a good question. Piotr Jan. Ten seconds on the clock. Yeah, Devison. No, he's from Code Garbrandt. Crap. Um, Piotr Five, Jan. Four, three. Final two, answer, Rob Font. One. Incorrect, which means Quilch has an opportunity to steal. You still have your double. 
haven't a notion. Um, forgot he was even booked to fight, to be honest. Shit, it's going to be bantamweight. I'm trying to rule them out. Murad's just fought. So who has just fought? He's not fighting Sean O'Malley. Um, so who else is around? He's bantamweight. Dave's and figure out. It's not going to be that fight. That runs out too. Ten more. seconds on the clock. I have no idea. Do you know what? I'm actually going to go with ah. five. Go with Dave's and figure out because I can't think of anything else. Final answer, even though Denny said he's fighting Garbrandt. Incorrect. The answer I was looking for is Song Yudong. Never. Song Yudong. Song Yudong. Quilcha, for you, a future matchup. Oh. Charles Oliveira's next opponent. Should never do one of these quizzes again. Um, no idea, boys. I'm gone. Uh, Charles Oliveira's next opponent. Kind of wish it was Isla Makachev, to be honest with you. Um, there are so many people I imagine that are screaming. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> from home oh, watching yeah. this, thinking how how do you guys not know this? It's like I just I don't watch you anymore. Follow Irish MMA. Give me all the Irish MMA questions, and I'll be going to need to press you for an answer, Quilch. Uh, oh, I do not know in the slightest. Uh, I'm going to say Justin Gaethje final answer. Incorrect, which means Denny the opportunity to steal once again. Well, I was hoping he'd get this right, so I didn't have to answer. <laughs> 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 um, I know when it is. It's UFC 300. Or even is it? Oh, I've lost all the confidence in this question. Uh, final answer. Um, Armin Sarukian. That is the correct answer. I don't. I honestly don't think that Quilch even has an opportunity. We're going to keep going. We're going to finish it out. It's put me out of my mind. I, I don't. I don't think you can even catch up at this point. If I, I haven't done that. We have two rounds left. There are, in theory, uh, I don't even know, maybe seven points left. Um, Sean won't even want to put this video out now. <laughs> Sean Denny. <laughs> Sean Denny, we move to the guess who round. Three clues. First clue. He was born in Florida in 1983. He played college football for the Tennessee Volunteers from 2001 to 2004. And he has fought a past Bellator middleweight champion, the current Bellator heavyweight champion, and a next challenger for the Bellator light heavyweight title. Who is the fighter? So hold on, just can I clarify? Oh. He, he has fought a past Bellator. So has he fought the last... So has he fought so, the next challenger for the Bellator light heavyweight championship? Yes, I, the the and a next challenger for the Bellator light heavyweight title is worded very particularly and carefully for a reason. Okay, okay, no worries, no worries. So he's from Florida. He's fought. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to zip it. <laughs> so he, I, I'll, I'll read it back again. He was born in Florida, 1983. Played for the Tennessee Vols from 2001 to 2004, and he's fought a previous. Bellator middleweight, middleweight champion, the current heavyweight champion, and someone who is fighting for the Bellator light heavyweight title next. I'll throw out an answer there. Final answer. He's fought probably everybody. Gegard Mousasi. I Incorrect. Born in Florida. <laughs> that was Incorrect. an idiotic question. Quilcha, an opportunity to, to pull one back to save some face. Oh, um, play college football. That's it. Doesn't help, but it, it, so he's fought a next challenger. See, that throws me off massively. Does that mean he's fought someone that Carl Moore's fought? Is, is what I'm thinking. Do, do, do. I do not know. I'm don't know this. Gonna go for um. 
Is it Phil Davis, final answer? That is the incorrect answer. The answer that I was looking for was Ovens St. Prue, OSP. And the reason it says a next challenger for the Bellator light heavyweight title is because both fighters competing are the challenger. It is for a vacant title. So the, the fighter that he would have competed against previously is, of course, Corey Anderson. We move on. No score on that one. Uh, Quilcha, I guess who for you? She was born in Pennsylvania in 1988. 18 of her 23 fights have gone to a decision. And in 2020, she fought sisters in consecutive bouts. I have to use double points here, even though it's got, even though I don't know it. Uh, born in Pennsylvania. Quilch opting for his double points. Born in Pennsylvania in 1988. Pennsylvania. A Asian. lot of her fights have gone to decision. 18 of her 23. And in 2020, she fought, she fought sisters in consecutive bouts. Sisters in consecutive bouts. Sisters. Fucking hell. Which means she fought one sister. And then the next. Just to clarify for anyone who doesn't know what consecutive bouts means. Look, look, Andy. I know I've not been. Doing I mean, well, at this I'm point, not, uh, this has been <laughs> this has been a fucking disaster. If I'm honest, lads. <laughs> I have a notion. I um, thought just can't even think. Is this? Oh, she would have fought. Uh, oh God, I can't say it now. Um, no, nah, Quill just getting. Uh, the pity time clock for the past yeah, couple yeah. Of she fought Denny I'll help you out I think she, she must have been the Shevchenko sisters but I can't think of a name so I'm taking the Eno same Eno O'Neill is throwing his hands up in disgust in the background here he is lost all faith I'm going to get in so much trouble for this I think his fellow L triangle host he's not mad he's just disappointed yeah. <laughs> you're right to be and it's okay I'm going to have to press you for an answer. I can't give you any more time. Oh, I said pa I said it. she would have fought Shevchenko's sisters. Oh, so you've, you've passed. passed. And give it, yeah, 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 I, gave, I was giving Shanty. Denny the hint. Final answer, I think it's Caitlin Chukagian. That is the correct answer as Denny moves to 11 and 2. At this point, I don't know if, if saying that we're doing this for fun is quite applicable to Quilcha here, but we're, we're, we're still doing it. Um, I'm actually having fun. And I'm going to just put this, I'm going to stall for some time here because I can't remember. Actually, it doesn't matter. Whichever one, whichever one comes up first, we'll do. I don't know whose uh, niche is going to come up first. And it's Denny, KSW. For double points, a matchup between two future UFC fighters opened up the KSW 39 Coliseum card. Name the two fighters. Uh, final answer, Mateusz Gamrot, Norma Park. Oh God! Did I did, did, did the fight order right there? Yeah, final answer. That is the cor the sorry. That is the incorrect answer. So Quilcha, an opportunity here to steal for double points. A matchup between two future UFC fighters opened up the KSW thirty nine Coliseum card. Name the two fighters. They competed against each other, and at a later date, were both in the UFC. A later date, both in the UFC. Um. What? I'm not. I may have confused things there. I don't know if it's at the same time. It could be the same time. Could not be. It is the same time. There's nothing to lose here at this point. <laughs> it's the same time. Hey, I'll I'll give you <laughs> um, They're both in there now. I'm going to help you out here. I mean, at this point, we're we're just playing for scraps. <laughs> two, if you uh, named two fighters. Um, I was gonna see. I I was gonna say the same as Denny. I'm completely lost in this one. It's probably gonna be like Dirkus Duplessis and who who would he fought? That would have been it. So I don't know any other point. Yeah, have a clue. Go ahead. I want to know the answer. Huh? Final answer. Passing. Passing. Yeah, of course. Okay. The answer was Ariana Lipsky versus oh, Diana Belvita. Yeah. Damn it. Diana? As soon as I said it, where is? Where where I messed up was Park joined KSW after his UFC stint. I didn't read the question mm. properly. Now Quilcha, we this is this is nothing but pride here. We've got forget the MMA, forget all that useless crap. Your beloved Burnley are up next. The niche category to to finalize to to round out the quiz. I've given up. 
the first two Burnley goals of the current Premier League season were scored by the same person. Name him. Jesus Christ, lads. Um, no, who do we start the season off with? So he didn't score against City. Means it's either going to be Foster or um, it's going to be either Foster. I'm doing it. No, I'm doing it. only scored in the cup, so it's going to be either Foster or it could be Josh Brownhill. But I'm going to go Lyle Foster, final answer. That is the correct answer and double points for Quilcha de Barra, which brings us to the end of the competition. I don't think anyone is surprised. Sean Denny, you are the winner. 11 to 4. Quilcha, I'll go to you first. What what went wrong? Um, I don't know. I just rocked up and said, yeah, this will be grand. I uh, didn't do much prep and uh, I didn't expect it. Lost ahead after round three, lads. But um, I actually had great fun, even though I'm probably going to get shreds torn into me tomorrow or after this. But your luck would be grand. Denny, I, I, you know, Quilch made some errors along the way. However, a, a seven point victory, I think, tells the story here. Um, it wasn't just the errors he made, but it was also the answers that you gave. Happy with that performance? Yeah, could could do with some improvement. I need to read the questions better. It's uh, and it's got so some of them were dodgy there, but uh, there was a good good bit of luck involved as well. It's uh, it's, it's not the easiest, and sometimes it just comes to you. Now it it pains me to say this, but you have taken out not one but two members of the Old Triangle, the greatest podcast in all the land. Who we've got a matchup coming up between. Ian O'Neill, the third member of the L Triangle, and Sean Sheehan. Which is a more appealing matchup to you? Who are you hoping to face in the final? I got it. I got a call for the trilogy. It's uh, you have to complete a pack, don't you? You can't just get two out of three out of a collection. Are, are you and seeing only- us as a as a Premier League sticker book right now? Yeah, one hundred percent. It's the one missing piece. <laughs> uh, I need to go around the yard with my swaps to get that. To get the gold shiny at the end. <laughs> Fair enough. So you don't want to... I mean, a lot of people seem to want Sean Sheehan. He's, you know, he calls himself the pod god. You know, he, he's been he's been puffing his chest out since the start of this. He sees himself as the heir to the MMA mastermind throne. You, uh, But you don't want that. You, you're you're rooting for Ian. You want to complete the, the trifecta. The hung- you want the infinity I want, stones. I want the hungry up-and-comer. That's who I want. I want... Somebody who's chomping away at everybody on his way up. So somebody that doesn't get enough get, get enough credit for what he's doing. I want that young upstart. I, I think Quill or I think Denny is essentially calling Ian O'Neill Tom Aspinall and Sean Sheehan John Jones right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, think that, I think that's what's going on. But look, lads, um fair play. It was it was I'm not gonna say it was the, the greatest of matchups. I don't think Anyone painful will, for you, Andy. Will say that. No, no, I'm, I'm sure it's a lot more painful for you, Quilcher. So uh, I, I'm all good, but I appreciate the effort. Uh, you both got further than I did. And Sean Denny moves on. He advances to the tournament final of MMA Mastermind. Tune in for the next episode. And look, let's be honest. This one, it was all nicey, 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 you know, tame. The next one's not going to be that way. Ian and Sean are going to beat the living shit out of each other think i don't know think um alvarez versus chandler and bellator think robbie lawler versus rory mcdonald it's going to be chaos it's going to be hell and i don't know if they'll ever speak to each other again so we will find out what happens with that one next time but for now appreciate you tuning in like subscribe all that good stuff and we'll see you the next time it's long before